hello students we will continue with uh, heredity and evolution topic uh, with respect to sex determination and also adaptations and living conditions of the organism surviving on this earth so let's understand what is it with respect to the adaptations uh, and uh, selections etc so we'll start with it now so first we will understand about sex determination in human beings so how is that a girl baby or a boy baby is determined so first we need to understand that a male sperm or male has chromosome x and y so x and y is the chromosome that is present in the male and female has both x chromosomes so we can say that out of 23 pairs of chromosomes so a pair of chromosome always is for the sex chromosome so it is for male x and y for female it is x and x so now uh, we can say that the birth of a baby whether it is male or female is decided by this chromosome of the male so we can say that when an x x chromosome and an x chromosome from female combines or mates that is it forms xx chromosome that is 1x from the male and 1x from the female so what happens is there are two x chromosomes here and this will give rise to a female or a female baby girl or you can see that here uh, the x chromosome remains the same for the female but a y chromosome from the male and x chromosome from the female fuses together and forms a gamete it forms an x and y chromosome which will give rise to the birth of a male baby so this is how we can determine the sex of the human beings that is whether the birth of a child is a male or a female by determining the x and y characters of the chromosomes present in male and female so always keep in your mind that female do not have y chromosome they have only two x chromosomes and male have an x and a y chromosome that determines the male part or the male birth of the baby so next coming to we will understand about the chromosomes in detail here so as i told that human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes so they are present in the nucleus the chromosomes are present in the nucleus and these chromosomes have the genetic character or the dna content so we can say that out of these two chromosomes there are uh, sex chromosomes so out of this that is out of 23 pairs of chromosomes two of them are sex chromosomes they are x and y so for the females as i told that two chromosomes x chromosomes that is x and x chromosomes are present and for male they have one x and one y chromosome and this uh, wherein the sperms and the eggs have one set of sex chromosomes that is either it is xy or xx chromosomes so you can see that some sperms have x chromosome and some have y chromosome and all the eggs of the female have x chromosomes only so next we will come uh, to the understanding of how uh, the fusion happens here so you can see that a sperm having a x chromosome fuses with an egg having x chromosome so child will be a girl and if a sperm having y chromosome fuses with an egg having x chromosome the child will be a boy so coming to variations variations are different characters or the different living conditions that help to survive of an survival of an organisms so variations may or may not help the organisms to survive so how these variations are going to support the organisms to survive or else what will happen to these organisms will come to know now so some variations help the organisms to survive in that we can see here so you can say that the color differentiation so these beetles are present on the wood of a tree so if they stay that wood color is also brown the beetle color is also brown so you can see that this crow or a bird cannot see the color differentiation 
of this beetle and you can see that there are beetles that are green in color also only the green will be seen by the birds and that will get eaten up by the bird and this what happens here now the green beetles are being eaten up by the crow or the birds their population gets reduced or it becomes nil and you can see that the beetles which are brown in color their population goes on increasing so that we will understand more about it now so you can see here that some variations some variations help the organisms to survive so how they are going to help these organisms to survive as we saw previously that some beetles living they live in green bushes so if they live in green bushes and they are green in color what happens then so they cannot be seen through the green bushes as they are also green in color by other insects or the birds feeding on them so what happens here they are going to increase their numbers by the process of reproduction so you can see that crows can easily see red beetles so there are green beetles red beetles and blue beetles in the bushes so bushes are green in color so which is seen properly by the crow so you can see that the green beetle is not to be seen and red beetles are seen clearly and even the blue beetles to some extent not as much as the red beetles so what happens to the red beetles so they are first eaten by the crows so what happens here during reproduction there are some variations that happens that some green beetles are produced instead of red beetles so once reproduction happens new born uh, new births happen and new species are developed there are certain beetles they are not green or red they transform from red to green again so green numbers are increasing what happens here the population of the green beetles increases and there is reduction of red beetles so green beetles are not visible to the crows and hence they are not eaten by them so what happens the population of red beetles goes on decreasing and population of green beetles goes on increasing so this variation has helped the organisms to survive how they are going to survive because in the green bushes the green beetles can survive better and also they can be uh, going on producing their offsprings and they can survive in this better environment so next we will see that how some environment do not help the organisms to survive so you can see here three types of beetles here red beetles green beetles and blue beetles so let's understand that sexual during sexual reproduction a color variation occurs a color variation occurs in red beetles and you can see that instead of green beetles or red beetles blue beetles are produced here so you can see both the red and blue beetles so here red and blue beetles they are uh, produced and they can be clearly seen by these crows now so what happens now in the next generation so almost all the red beetles will be eaten first then they will go for the blue ones and you can see that there is a reduction in the population this is how that some variations you can see that where what is the variation that has happened now red beetles have more offsprings of green beetles and blue beetles you can see that and you can see that green beetles have developed into red beetles and blue beetles when the generations gone passed by and you can see that what happened to these green and blue beetles now so the offsprings that developed were more red and blue instead of green so this will not help in the survival of the organism because there is a variation some variation or genetical changes that happen to the green beetles made to reproduce the new offsprings in the red beetles and blue beetles so the population of both the red and blue beetle decreases and this variation does not help the organisms to survive so we have seen the condition that helps the organisms to survive now we have seen that the variations that will not help the organisms to survive so next we will understand about certain traits that have been acquired what do you mean by acquiring like uh, 
these beetles there are some beetles that population increases so you can see that some green beetles were there and these green beetles were not seen by the crows and their population goes on increasing there might be a change that might happen that some climatic changes or uh, uh, happens with respect to the plants so plant might uh, be affected by some diseases or the availability of food that was av available for the beetles got reduced or decreased in that way they got reduced with their body weight and they do not have enough food so these beetles will not get enough food so after few years availability of food also what happens increases in the body and availability of food increases body weight also the beetle increases because uh, when the plant grows more so you can see that two contrast conditions that when the plant has caught with some disease or that more population of green beetles led to the reduction in the acquirement or the food availability led to the beetles to become lean or reduce in the body weight or lead to the death and you can see that after some years that beetles uh, were able to survive because there was a change in the plants uh, plants became normal and also they had a lot of availability of the food and hence there is increase in the weight of the beetles so this is an acquired trait it is not genetic that it doesn't get transferred to the next generation because there is no gene composition with respect to the population of the beetles with respect to the disease of the plants the food and the health conditions of the beetles when with respect to the living conditions here so we will see uh, the next one speciation what is speciation it is the development of a uh, new species so new species developed from the existing ones so existing ones will develop a new species with new characters it is known as speciation so there is an example taken by initially that a single species of bees were taken and they were divided uh, completely it's a 50 percent just say 20 uh, numbers of bees were there 10 bees were given a different environment 10 was given a different environment so what was these bees given they were fed with starch based food and these bees were fed with maltose based food so what happens the generations or 8 or 10 generations pass by even here also 8 or 10 generations pass by then they are crossed for uh, reproduction you can see that there is a new species that is developed with respect to the conditions or living conditions that these bees have survived so let's uh, understand more about the speciation now so uh, as i told it is the formation of new species from the existing species it is because one or more following factors because of one or more following factors so they might be that accumulation of variations we have seen the variations already there are accumulations of variations that lot of different varieties of offsprings are produced and there might be physical barriers genetic changes and also there is natural selection and migration as you know migration migratory birds they go from one uh, geographical area to the other one and based on the conditions or climatic conditions they survive there and they produce their offsprings those offsprings might have a uh, different characteristics so let's understand one by one the factors here accumulation of variations now so this is the differences of individuals of same species so same species undergoes some changes in the genetic characters when the offsprings after five or six generations have gone through so you can see that accumulation of variations of occur by generations and these produces new species so new species are formed from the present or the current species after there are def definite or def different changes that has happened due to the genetic characters or geographical regions or the adaptations so you can see that next is physical barriers so what is physical barriers the populations might have get got separated physically like uh, mountains rivers so uh, you can see that uh, these isolated groups so isolated groups of the same species might be living in different areas 
So, these uh, groups also produces variations which can produce new species. How uh, is that they get accustomed to the mountain region or the river the nearby rivers or lakes or the areas where they are adapted to. So, these uh, organisms will produce new species with respect to the geographical conditions or the physical barriers. So, next we will understand about the genetic drift. So, you can see that natural calamities or introduction of new members. So, new members of the same uh, species in an area can produce changes. So, natural calamities also can give birth to new species or the new species can develop in particular area which will give uh, different changes or the change in the gene pool. So, there is a gene difference that happens from the parents to the offsprings and you can see that new variations. So, new variations, new characters and new uh, living conditions or new species are produced with new characters with the changes in the genes. So, you can see that uh, area that was uh, drought uh, now suddenly becomes uh, lush green and these organisms if needs to survive in that condition which was living in a desert, they need to adapt themselves to different situations. So, you can see that the offsprings that is produced they might get adapted to the new surroundings and new species will make sure that they live in that particular geographical conditions and the genes are changed forever for again several 5 or 6 generations. So, what is natural selection? So, those individual species who have useful variation. So, they have some variations they adapt themselves to changes in the environment. So, natural selection is uh, the way that we move from one place to another. So, we have got used to the place where we are living in. So, uh, if we are not able to adjust to the new uh, living or new place, what happens is either we will survive or we will not be able to survive. So, if we want to survive, we will adapt to the nature or the conditions of that particular place or environment. So, the species that will adjust to the environment will survive and others will die. So, that is known as natural selection. So, organisms which will uh, survive in that particular condition will produce some variations and also they will produce some new species which we can adapt that particular environment. So, next is uh, migration. So, what is migration? As I told before that some individual species they migrate from one place to another to a new geographical region or area and they adjust and do some certain adaptations or changes uh, of living conditions and environmental changes happens with respect to their particular genes. So, what happens is they develop new variations and a new species is produced in that particular area when they shift their geographical situation or geographical area with respect to migration or change of place from one place to another place. So, that is all about this topic. We will be continuing in the next topic. Thanks for watching.